Welcome to Asking All Them Questions Part 2. I told y'all I was going to do y'all two since y'all so pressed. Y'all had so many damn questions. Some of y'all asked six, seven questions at a time at an email. So, But I'm going to give them to y'all. Okay. I ain't had no damn music at the beginning. So y'all, I'm just going to go on and go in and stop wasting fucking time. Somebody said, what is the worst sexual experience you've ever had? Ooh, ooh! Somebody watch my. Mm, I don't know if he watched my videos or not. Ugh. Who cares? I don't give a damn. But this guy that I was talking to, <laughs> I'm just gonna be. This is X-rated, so if you got the, if you at work right now, you might want to turn the volume down and put your headphones in, or put the kids away, because I'm about to go in and let her. Um, the worst sexual experience is this guy. That I was talking to. And we were getting ready to do the do. And I had put my finger up somewhere. I put my finger somewhere. And it felt like something was hanging out. Something was hanging. I'm whispering like my mom in the other room can hear me. But something was hanging out of his anus. Something was. And it wasn't. It wasn't no shit. It wasn't shit. It was just something hanging out of his anus. I don't, I don't know if somebody been dicking him down too much that his booty hole is just collapsed and his thing is just hanging out to me. It it, it was the worst experience ever. Like, and I, I, I kind of figured, like, he kept saying, like, I kept saying, you know, somebody asked me, I like to eat. I like to eat booty. You know. Ooh, I shouldn't be saying shit. <laughs> I'm I like to do certain things, so I'm just gonna say that. And like he, he's, uh, he wouldn't let me do it, and I was like, something must be wrong. And then that came out. I'm gonna spend more time. This shit is disgusting. Come on with these fate with these questions. Woo! She sent me about twelve of them. What is my favorite color? My favorite color is green, which I have on. When did I? I'm gonna answer a couple of because I like Amber. I love her. Um, when, when did I lose my vision? I left my vision. I lost my vision. I was like 15 years old. Um, yeah, and she asked me, "Would you ever want kids someday?" Yes, I do. But not until I make over hundred thousand dollars a year, or, or close to hundred thousand, because I, I don't want to be struggling on food stamps. Uh, okay, she getting real, real into the questions. What are your favorite sex, sexual positions? Ooh, mm, I didn't think about that. Legs in the air. I love legs in the air because I like to see your face. I like to see what what you what, what's going on. If I could live anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? <sighs> Paris. I don't like to be in Paris, France. But only if I can speak, I have to be fluent in um in French. I'm into kinky sex toys. No, I'm five nine. She asked me how tall are you? Five nine. What turns you on when you're in bed? Uh, kissing does. So kissing does. And just um, talk moaning. That that turns me on. Uh, that that turns me on. I'm gonna answer her last question, and that's it. She got a lot of. What would be your best advice to someone struggling with wanting to go back to their ex after a bad breakup? It depends on what the breakup was about. Like if the breakup was about you know him being a hole and all that kind of shit. I will test the waters first and see how he is. If he get it, he or she, if she's not a hoe no more, she's time she getting together or whatever, you know, then you can go back to it. I believe in second chances. I ain't gonna lie, y'all gonna probably some of y'all gonna probably curse me. I know my best is out. But if my ex, who I did a video about, somebody asked me that, what somebody asked me, uh, whatever happened to the video about him or whatever, I took it down because I, I did go in a little hard. Sometimes I had to think about what I say and I go in, but I don't regret going in because he needs to hear the shit I said. But if he was to get his shit together, I would go back with him. But it just seems like he's not mature enough. He wants to be gay all his life, and, I, and Justin J don't have time for that. When I go lay down and go in my casket, like that. I want to be known for more than just being gay. I want people to know that I was a good guy, I was a funny guy, and my helping people. I want people to know everything else besides the fact that I'm gay. Because when people die, they don't say, you know, well, she was straight. They don't, they don't say stuff like that. So I don't want to be just regular. Wow, my favorite, my little Twitter crush. 
I ain't gonna say you. I'm just gonna call you R R Double R. My Twitter crush, who I have. Ooh, yes. Mm. He's so intelligent and so smart. He be saying stuff. And I just be having fun just looking at him. He's so cute. He, I'm going to ask him all his questions because he's my Twitter crush. He asked me, are you talking to someone? No. I'm not talking to nobody. I go to bed every, I go to bed every night by myself. When the last time you sucked a dick? Gosh, so vulgar. It's been a while. It's It's been a minute. It's been over some months. Like, I, I just don't do that. I don't do that willy-nilly. I don't do that just to everybody. And I'm just not feeling you. Matter of fact, I haven't even cooked for a dude. Matter of fact, I, I cooked today for somebody. But I haven't cooked for somebody in so long. Like, I haven't just, I don't, I don't, I just can't give head to everybody. He said, what are you going to school for? I'm going to school for criminal justice. I already said that. Do I live alone? Yes, I live alone. I've been staying in the same apartment for three years. Um... I'm trying to buy me a house in the next couple of years, but by the time I'm 30. Uh, so what kind of phone do you have? I have an iPhone 5. iPhone 5. I love iPhone 5. I love iPhone Apple. Team Apple. When was your last relationship? I've already answered that. Last relationship was almost six ago, six months ago with um, Bubbles. Next question. I call him Bubbles because he looked like a monkey. How much would you have to, how much someone have to pay you to lick little Jack's belly? Money would not even be enough. Money wouldn't even be enough. Um, especially American money, especially the way it's going down right now. She gonna have to give me a free discount on. Um, she gonna have to give me a, a discount on um, this Queen Burgers for the rest of my life. So whenever I leave the club, I can drive my ass to North Memphis or South Memphis and get some Dick's Queen Burgers. That's the only way. That little chat I would lick. I, hell no, nah, I wouldn't look little chat fat ass, hair ass belly. Hell no, nah, I wouldn't do that shit. Don't ask me no shit like that, girl. Ask me about little chat stomach. Somebody, another person asked me, at what moment in your life did you know you like guys? I'm already answered. You need to watch the other video. I, must, I ain't gonna answer that. Why did you, do, I'm gonna read another question. Why did you delete your opinion on the Tredarius and David marriage. That's a good question. I love you. So I like her. I like suck my tweets on Twitter. Follow her on Twitter. She's a good person. I I deleted the video because I deleted the video off of YouTube. But it's still in my eye. It's still on my MacBook. It's still in iMovie. But I regretted going in on them so hard because the fact that I sounded like I was just a hater. Like, I just didn't sound like, I sound like I was real bitter. I didn't get the points across that I wanted to. Like, I didn't say that what they need to work on to make, for me to believe that they were, that their marriage is going to work. I didn't get the points across. And I just tore them down. And, I, and, I, and I'm and and I trying to get to the point where I don't have, that I don't tear the gay community down so bad. But I'm going to tell you what, I'm watching them. And as soon as they break up or have a divorce or anything and stop talking, I'm gonna be on it because I've already heard they intersex. Some of one of them intersex parties and stuff. So it, it's a matter of time before I post a video of up in a response to that. I did a response a response to him trying to roast me. I did do it, but I just didn't post it. It's on iMovie. I gotta say, y'all might get it. Y'all, I went in real hard. I'm gonna give it to y'all one day, probably. Somebody asked me, you talk a lot about being in Memphis and how messy ratchet it is. I traveled there once, not much to see. Have you ever been to bigger cities? And so, what was the best experiences? Hmm, and this is all the way from Kentucky. I recently went to Chicago not so long ago. I met someone. I met a couple of intelligent people. Um, April Prayer. I'm going to put her information up on this video. She's a very intelligent person. I, it was in Chicago. Very. She's, um, she's a lawyer or whatever. Something I dreamed about doing when I was in the eighth grade. She's very smart and, you know, just she's black. And not just not the fact that she's just black. She's just very intelligent. She's articulate. I love her so much. Now, she has a blog. So, blog. She has a blog site, you know, talking about important stuff, you know, that we need to read about. I believe everybody should stay informed on the news, everything that's going on. Um, then I met Tim and West. Tim and West is a everything. He He's... Um, He's involved in uh, lesbian, gay, 
bisexual transgender community. He's um he's just so small. He's so intelligent. He graduated from I don't know where he graduated from. I don't know a lot of shit about Tim Wentz because I'm drunk. I can't think about it. I know he went to Duke, and he went to some school in Texas, and he made a third one on ACT. Really smart guy. He's just such a cocky ass individual. He's not cocky. He's just so demanding. And he's real cool. And I enjoyed my time with him um, last weekend, with this past weekend with him in Chicago. I didn't spend a lot of time with him because the situation I went to Chicago was not, wasn't for me to enjoy a trip to go see my granddaddy. But um, I guess the Chicago would be the best city I've been so far. I, I don't do a lot of travel. I'm scared of New York. I'm scared of it because I, I, I'm just scared. Of, I, I don't, I'm, it's just, I'm scared of all the... The bad shit is in the air. I, I'm scared of it. And then it's just a big city you can't drive. I am Justin J is not a big fan of driving around looking for a parking spot. I believe I should park in front. That's be it. That's why I need to be rich. So I can rich like Nene Leak so I won't have to do all this shit. Next question. Have you ever had sex with a woman? If not, do you think you ever will? <sighs> I'm not going to say I'm not going to because I do not know the future. I do not know it. But right now, I don't plan on having sex with a woman. Um, I do want children later on in life, but, you know, I think I would have to have sex with a woman to have kids. I don't think I'm doing anything else. Um, that's about, I, I just, I don't, mm, I don't see that. I, I, I just, I, I don't see that. Ugh. Um, it's another person, next question. How long is your tongue? I'm not finna stick my tongue out for y'all, child. Tequila ain't touching my spirit that much. I'm not sticking my tongue out. My tongue is nice. It will reach. It, it real. Uh, it will reach your spirit. Just know that when I uh, when it touches you in the inside, you will be moaning. Uh, um, so yeah, y'all getting real sexual. Somebody, Chris. I ain't gonna say his name. How have you ever? Gave head and licked a man booty. If so, what is the greatest man? Come on now, uh, guy. You you can ask a better question than that. Yes, I have. I'm 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 very sexual. I've done that years ago. Um, and it was a great experience. Everybody ain't great experience. Everybody don't have the right um kind of you know um equipment for you to lick and you know chew on and all that kind of stuff. So um, I don't do this to everybody, but when you get the right person, it is. Do your purse? Do you, oh, some next question. Oh, do your parents and family accept you for being a homosexual? No, they don't. Mother, we in, I'm in the South. I stay in Memphis, Tennessee. They don't accept homosexuality, but my mother and father do respect me for being a um such an intelligent young black man, and you know, get having my shit together and, and trying to get further in line. But they don't accept it, but they do respect us. <clears throat> I'll give you that much. What is the next question? What is the latest age that you should have a child? Would you? Uh, what is the latest age that you should have a child? Mm. I would say about. <coughs> oh. Ooh. I would say about thirty something. Before forty, I'm gonna say about thirty six. Because uh, in my class of the my psychology class, we were reading up and saying that um. After 40 years old, the woman, um, your eggs and your women, your the eggs are in your body are as old as you. You know, you're born with a certain amount of eggs. So they're about as old as you. So the older you get, the more they, they age. So after 40 years old, your chances, um, your, your um, what is that? I can't get that. Your, your chances of giving, um, giving birth to a child with um, birth defects. And uh, what is that? Some kind of shit. Something going on. Be messed up with the child, you know. So I don't. I don't. I don't but I mean, if you want me, you want to give birth to you. I can tell you do with your vagina. This is a good question. Can we be just? Can we just be friends in my head? Yes, we can. We can be. I can be. Everybody. I'm everybody's friend. I love all of my... If you support Justin J, I love you and we are friends. Just know that. If you got the balls to share my video or like it and comment, I'm your friend. Y'all know I don't care. I comment and respond to every one of my fans and supporters. I, I respond. Justin J is not cocky. 
Although I might seem like I am, I love every one of you and I appreciate y'all so much for just supporting me. So I have no problem. If you inbox me, email me, I'm going to respond. I'm going to. I have no problem doing that. A lot of people don't do that, but I have no problem. People inbox me all the time and I respond to it. I might, it might not be when you want to, but I'm going to. You know, I'm not that big enough of a person for me not to respond y'all. I ain't got no damn personal assistant respond to y'all ass. Somebody asked me, would you ever, have you ever dressed in drag? Hell no, I ain't never dressed in drag. And I think that's a stereotype because all people think that me and gay men dressed in drag. No, Justin J has never dressed in drag before. I, You know what? I did a Tyler Perry, though. Back in high school, years ago, I dressed up as one of my teachers, my favorite teacher, Miss, um, who is it? I don't know who the hell this person is. They don't have to wait. I dressed up in... For um, as Miss Hammond, one of my favorite high school twelfth grade honors group, honors English teacher, she was so smart and children. I love her so much. I dressed up like her because she was just such a fun person. I, I could the way for me to honor her it was to to show how she be acting when she be reading folks. She taught me a a woman taught me how to read. She be reading, you know, reading to the gods like y'all ain't never seen her read like her. She told them I love Miss Hammond. Um. I have a question. Would you say? Uh, somebody said. I have a question. What would you say uh, if little chat ratchet ass was right in front of you right now? If that with my eighteen hundred in my hand, I would slap little chat ass so motherfucking. I would first wait to she if she wasn't trying to roast if she trying to get crock and shit. I would slap her ass with this motherfucking bottle of eighteen hundred. Tell her get her motherfucking life and stop. Posting ratchet ass videos of her fucking rubbing, scrubbing on her motherfucking car wash ass belly. Um, Le Chat, I, I, I'm tired of talking about Le Chat fun looking ass. She's irrelevant as fuck. But um, if she was in front of me right now, I would cuss her ass out and tell her she, she, need, to, she need to take her some class at Southwest Community College in Memphis, Tennessee. That's all I got. Now, one of my questions from my best friends, one of my best friends. What is Ronald Matters? Go to his website. Uh, you know, check him out. Ronald Matters be saying some real good stuff on his website. I'm not gonna suggest you go to his YouTube page because I don't want him taking my uh, my subscribers. He said, "What is your big biggest fear? Giving head, looking at propicia. I don't know what that is, or getting an IRS audit letter instead of a check. Getting a um letter from the IRS, okay." Cause um I ain't trying to pay no money back to IRS like I, I they already took my food stamp down to ninety two dollars because they found out I'm getting unemployment so you know I ain't I ain't trying to get no letter from the IRS I ain't trying to do all this shit <coughs> I ain't uh -uh. I, I ain't trying to go through this shit um I I just ain't yeah mm -mm. no sir no sir but that's all the questions I got right now. YouTube that I can think of. Ain't nobody else send me no damn questions. Um, I don't see anything else. I think I gave everybody the question, you know, all I could right now. But, you know, it's going to be some more videos coming on later on. Uh, and that's all I got, YouTube. Send me some more questions. I'm, I'm going to continue to I'm gonna make this little, little thing. You know what? Somebody asked me. Um, I think I answered that though. Yeah, I did. So you know, like my video, subscribe to my page, share my video, and tell me what you thought about my my questions and answers. Was I being honest? Was I being when I giving y'all all the tea, or was I just lying? Cause the tequila was wearing off, which I really don't think it was. Cause my stomach is bubbling. Okay, I'm be I'm be feeling like shit. I'm already sweating like I popped a molly. Okay, but that's all I got. Ooh, yes, stop. Good question for one of my friends, Christopher Golden. And I had to throw his name out because he's so smart and intelligent. He got his shit together. Christopher Golden, let me go. I got to hold on. Let me put a Mac up. Put it up on. This is gonna be the last question. Because this question was so good. When I tell you it was so good, I'm gonna have to do a video on this alone. This I'm going to have to do a video on just this question. Alone because it, it it was just it was just everything, and Christopher Golden asked me. My question is a gay pageantry. My question is: Is a gay pageantry helping or harming the minds of younger gay people, 
What is the purpose of pageantry, and what are the most popular how what are the most popular houses notorious for in, and why are the most popular houses notorious for incest? Um, Christopher basically his what he getting at is that all the houses, all the um, all the pageantry and all the kind of shit that goes on. Why is it helping the gay community or is it just making it worse? And that is such a good question. And it can go into so many other stuff that I'm going to do a video about it. So, Chris, you got a video coming out about that later on tonight when I'm sober, so I won't go into much. But that's all I got. YouTube, YouTube, my, I'm stuttering around here and I can't even think. So, I'm going to talk to y'all later. Deuces. Bye.